hate speech or what's it like hating race racial hate or whatever it's called um went racism down. racism yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, what you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pub Stomp, a podcast about games, TV shows, movies, and pop culture in general. Every episode, we discuss topics that we find interesting. Come join our shenanigans. Hey, welcome to another episode of Pub Stomp Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about a book, Ready Player Two. Uh, it came out in January, I believe. But um, before that, we have some uh, hot topics to talk about. But anyway, what's up, Mick? Uh, what's up, Mexi? Yo. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your name for a <laughs> second. Hey, what's up, Tyler? Hey. Hey. Oh, Tyler, you earlier today you were telling us about some movie that apparently is coming out that is a big deal, but honestly. <laughs> so <some of> <laughs> but honestly. <laughs> some of us didn't really know. Yeah, it nobody wasn't in our cares, radars. But I'm excited. Hey, which movie My, is that? Uh, Disney Plus announced the uh, Mighty Ducks. I don't actually know if it's a movie or a TV show, but Mighty series. Ducks is back. Oh, it's a series? Yeah. I mean, Oh, cool. I get, yeah, I honestly don't. I, I just know the I only thing I remember is like the when I did the flapping of the wing, the wings. Isn't that Angels <laughs> in the Outfield? No, no, it's that movie. Is it's not Mighty Ducks? Pretty sure that's Angels in the uh, Outfield. Okay, well, then I guess I don't remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess I did it's, not watch the same close. movie. It was close enough. <laughs> 90 percent sure that's angels in the outfield but you know I, that's that? also that's also that movie but i remember something like that into the hockey but anyway i guess that's coming out in march that's cool that's cool <laughs> it's gonna be and, horrible but i'm gonna love it <laughs> uh Mexi's, uh if they don't have the what song i don't even know no they didn't show the flying v in the trailer so it's trash oh the flying v no they save the good stuff for the show i hate when they ruin the best you know not yeah, man. it's you already know what to expect Mm-mm. Save that mm-hmm. movie. I don't want to see it in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's now that we got that one out of the way. <laughs> let's talk about the elephant in the room, guys. Have you been following the stunks? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a yeah. second. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I'm not an investor right about now. <laughs> Or you should be uh, sad because you could be rich right look, now. Man, yeah. Look, man, some of those. Y- 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 All right, man. So, Maxi, well, you, why don't you describe what, what's going on with the GameStop uh, stocks right about now? Okay. So, from my understanding, and this is how everything went crazy, was some they announced earlier this year <coughs> that um, the stock for GameStop wasn't valued correctly and it was supposed to be like $20. So somebody, a big financial group, decided to short GameStop by a lot. I think it was like $65 million worth of shorting. Yeah, it was like 120%, something like that. Past well, yeah. that's everybody combined. But this oh, one particular company, it was shorted it down, shorted $65 million or something like that. Was it Melvin Capital or something like that? Yeah. 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 And then somehow somebody in Wall Street bets... If you've never seen the subreddit, it's the best subreddit on Reddit. On Reddit. Nah. <laughs> it's just memes. It's 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 been memes for like five years. But somebody on Wall Street Bets noticed that they shorted it and like started rallying the entire subreddit to be like, well, let's just flip it the other way. And then they started doing calls on all that on the um against the short. So it started raising the price of it. And then so all what ends up happening is that all these people they have shorted um gamestop are now trying to not lose money so now they're buying GameStop stock <laughs> gamestop stock so it's increasing the, the value so yeah. people who are really screwed are now extra screwed so because like they're losing because money they're not the selling short. right yeah they're, they're not, not selling, selling. Yep. yeah so if you don't sell they can't buy so they're like <laughs> losing money because people keep buying it but nobody they, yeah. they cannot get rid of your short side short side yeah yeah so people who have shorts now owe money but to try to save money, now they're buying the stocks so that they can gain money. Yeah. So it's like an infinite, like, constant shorting and buying and shorting and buying. So it's crazy. It's Excellent. a really bad explanation. We'll, we'll probably link a good yeah, explanation. Yeah, we'll post some good videos. But essentially, <laughs> the investors are... I mean, I'm going to enunciate. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, and the and the most messed up thing about this is that, like, I think this morning, uh, Robinhood and a bunch of other uh, mm-hmm. um, stock, what I forget what they call them, uh, platforms, pre- started preventing people from um, getting rid of their uh, no, stock. I, right? But you couldn't buying. buy. Yeah. You can't no, no, buy. Not, you can't, you can oh sell. yeah, sorry, you can't buy, but you can sell. Yeah, yeah, you can sell. So but that's you can't really, buy. yeah, yeah, and that's what's really messed up because all these platforms are they're protecting the the traders, right? Mm-hmm. Which is like really mm-hmm. messed up. And an app like Robinhood, which is supposed to give money to the poor, it's like super ironic, right? Well, like, yeah. so that's where the issue comes from, because Mel was it Melvin Financial Melvin, or whatever? Yeah, um, they uh do like forty percent of Robinhood's uh revenue. No, so I thought a, it was Citadel. Citadel, I think it was is, is the company. No, I'm pretty sure it's Melvin. Well, sorry, I think Melvin is owned by Citadel, and then Citadel okay. yeah. is linked to Robinhood, and they give them like 40 percent of their revenue. So yeah. people are angry at that because that's a conflict of interest, right? Right. Because right, right. Melvin is lo- is losing billions of dollars at what's mm-hmm. what's going on. They forced Robinhood, which is where most of the people who do trading right now go through. So it's like okay. That's stock manipulation. Yeah. yeah. So even like I think a bunch of um, people in the government are, are upset about this. So I want. I mean, something AOC, has to happen, right? Ted AOC, Cruz. Even Ted Cruz. Yeah. Everybody's Ted on the same Cruz. side this time no, around. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what's funny is AOC uh, tweeted about it, and then Ted Cruz said, "I agree," which is everybody's like, "What?" <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> for the I don't know I don't know if you guys seen for the last two weeks they've been on the Twitter fight. Like calling each other stupid, basically. I haven't, I haven't kept. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny. But I, I imagine it. So this yeah. is what politics has come to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're calling each other stupid back and forth, like for the last two weeks since January six, and then yesterday or today they were like, "He's like, I agree with you." <laughs> like what? <laughs> this subreddit brings them together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's it's kind of like. Have you guys watched the uh, the Big Short, the movie? Yeah. Yeah, that movie is so depressing. I was very upset when it came out because like. All these people lost their homes, and like the people who were who really caused the problem, like they were fine. Like there was one, maybe one guy in Wall Street that went to jail. Like now it's ha- now the opposite is happening, and now that the people with money are losing, like the rich people are losing money. They're like, okay, guys, let's change the rules of the game. This is not uh, how you play. It's like, all right, guys, you can't have it both ways. But I guess you can if you have money. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm curious to see what the SEC is going to do about this, if well, anything. Congress, there's a letter out there that Congress is ask the justice department to step in because Mm -hmm. because of the way robin hood did their blocking today they they're like that's not okay that's literally the opposite of what they should be doing yeah so we'll see and hope us yeah go ahead well they they did send out an email this afternoon too i haven't read the full thing but i'm looking at it right now they are going to allow limited they they say they're going to allow limited transactions tomorrow yeah, and, uh, it's too i late, looked man. at the app and it does say you can buy now but yeah the damage is already done yeah yeah, yeah. So, i mean the you, you, you the thing was rising to the moon man it just yeah the thing i was know skyrocketing it was like it, a 153 this morning and i tried to buy it and i couldn't yeah so it's, it's, i'm so I'm sad like, because i was looking at this since the beginning and i was like yeah 60 uh, bucks a share or something like that and i was like i don't know why you didn't buy any you saw it it stupid i know but you're like it like it's what 60 bucks man 60 bucks is nothing like i mean it is something but it's like you know man, you're for the memes you know for the memes right but like i follow wall street vets because i look at it all the time because it's funny like 90 percent of what goes on in there is memes it's just people like memeing all the attendees oh yeah Yeah. (laughs) and then all of a sudden they're like we can do this guys we can manipulate the market in our favor yeah so which is what wall street does like and you you know that some other brokery also started buying gme not just reddit people like you know some rich person is buying a bunch of gme too so sure elon musk bought a bunch of it because he was tweeting about it too like yeah i'm sure he did so (laughs) it's like but all this thing like the the crappy thing is that with this kind of stuff is uh it's a zero-sum game right somebody needs to lose if somebody loses you gain or or if you lose somebody's gaining so it's not Uh like magical money is created it's like (sighs) i feel bad for all those billionaires no no i mean what what if what if something like because of because uh, Robin Hood stop all these things from happening or like other people stop you from trading maybe somebody's gonna be left holding a bunch of stock that is worth nothing like some guy that is not uh, 
Oh, well, I don't know. They they could figure out something out. So that's why they're having class action lawsuits now because yeah. they're originally. I think they just stopped all transactions. Like you can sell, you couldn't buy. Yeah, and then they just you they were able to sell, and now you can do limited buying, right? So mm-hmm. I think a lot of people because at the beginning of the day today it was like four hundred or something, and people couldn't sell. Yeah, and then the stock the stock dropped to two hundred, so people lost a lot of money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a what lot, I mean, right? So it's so like if you can't sell it. And you wanted to exit, then you're left with a bunch of stock, and they screwed you over basically. But they they won't feel any repercussions over that. So I hope I don't it doesn't know, happen. Man. But I don't know. Let's see. Maybe GameStop comes back. I mean, this is all inflated <laughs> and fake, but GameStop is still on the on the dumps. It's gonna imagine being GameStop. It's GameStop, man. Like who? I mean, the, the stores are still closing, so. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like the butt of the joke in the end. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it anyway. I mean, Toys R Us didn't make it, so GameStop. Uh, sure. Sadness. But anyway, uh, by the time this comes out, it is all going to be resolved, I imagine. Uh, but it's it's interesting. If you guys haven't watched uh, Big Short, it's a very depressing movie. Uh, but it's I think it's important to pay attention to these things. Because they're Sometimes people with a lot of money can do whatever the hell they want, and that's not cool. Not cool. There's rules, goddamn. <laughs> We're not We're savages. Not savages. We're not savages. <laughs> I knew you were going there. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, let's get into the book. All right. Uh, so, Ready Player Two. Uh, we all <laughs> listened to the audiobook. Some of us <laughs> took a little, started yeah. earlier in the year. Other people started <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nonetheless uh, we all finished it are we, um, are we gonna do a round table if we liked it or not uh, we can do that yeah yeah. why don't you go and just kick it off man see ya here we go here we go here we go what do I think about ready player whack hmm <laughs> It started off meh. It was good in the middle, kind of. And then, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my thing. Okay. Uh, who's next? Am I next? No, I think Tyler's next. I think oh, Tyler's. for balance. <laughs> sure. Uh, it's a hard. It's a hard stance. I, I can't defend it. Um. <laughs> Because it wasn't really that good, but I did I did enjoy it. I enjoyed parts of it, I guess. I don't know. It, it was a surprise. <laughs> I was like talking. And I liked it. <laughs> if you liked it, you liked it, man. There's nothing wrong. I liked it. You know? Some but, people like chocolate. Some people like vanilla. You like great player yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked it, but I think I, I think I'm attached to the spirit of the original. I was surprised mm. that it even there was even going to be a second book. So that caught me off guard, and then mm-hmm. it's picked up in a. It has the same feel, but the plot is not there. It's okay. it, it feels like it was a lazy. It was it was lazily written, and mm. it, it's like I don't know. It's like he he wasn't uh, writing it with the same passion that he wrote the first the first one. All right, there wasn't as much time put in. Gotcha. I don't know how else to put that into words, but yeah, I I I enjoyed it, but yeah, it was it was weak compared to the first one. <laughs> right. Cool. Uh, well, I'm also on that same side. I, I did like the book overall. I like if you like take the whole thing and add it up, I, it was going to be a positive for me. I did like the book. Uh, there were some slow parts. There were, and that's probably on, on my end that I didn't understand a lot of references. I think like the Breakfast Club, like I, I haven't watched it. I don't know. Done, <laughs> a lot of those names were like, who, who that? I don't know. Uh, but um, yeah, this thing took like an unexpected turn towards the end and that's where like i started like losing it uh but we'll save that for later uh and uh i did like so yeah so i like that they went more into the actual like physical world characters as opposed to like just in the oasis so that's the the big difference i guess i would say between the two books uh i would say overall a uh, positive score it wasn't as good as the first one of course but i hope they leave it at this and they don't yeah. make any more. I think the first one, if they would have stopped at the first one, it would have been fine too. But I guess now it's really done. 
right? I hope. <laughs> Let's hope. I hope so. <laughs> uh, there's potential. I mean, if this guy wanted to, he could squeeze another book out of this. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's uh, it's pretty. Okay. It's not like amazing, but it's good. That's my that's my take. I respect that. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ready player whack. <laughs> Ready player whack. There were some things that were whack. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I <laughs> guess a lot of things are whack. Anyway, so so I guess uh, the the one of the, the the first thing that's different in this book, or I guess the first thing that is like like as soon as you start or like very close in the beginning is like Wade is rich now because he won the contest. And he's drunken with power, and then they have they have this new headset called the Oni headset, and he is given the task to decide whether he wants to um, give it to the world or not. And what this is, it's um, basically a Matrix device, right? Like from the movie Matrix, you get jacked into the Matrix, and you are you feel what the character, the avatar, would feel as if you were there. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it, but and yeah. that's the that's. Like if you could you could go in there and do whatever you want, and your body would be okay, and that's like uh, the that I didn't didn't know how to feel about that. Did you guys? Uh, so I want to ask you guys: like, Do you guys think that was a a good move? Like it, it feels weird, right? Because it's like a, you're living I'm in down. a different place, but uh, <laughs> you're, down. you're down. You're down. I'm down. Down. Man, did you, did you listen to this book? Did you read this book? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm down. Did you see what could happen? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, because because that is like at first I was like that sounds like a bad idea. He's gonna do the right thing. He's gonna put it in the closet, call it a day. But no, <laughs> yeah, but you realize you're 30 minutes into the game. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I was like, is this book gonna end so fast? I was like, oh no, 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 no. Okay, nah, so I, I guess mean, Maxis is down. I mean, I what well, some of my favorite stuff is like Sao, right? I thought Sao was really cool. What's SAO? Uh, Sword Art Online. Okay, yeah. And like, to me, that would be my dream to be able to play mm-hmm. a game like that, where like I'm in the game, kind of like the Oasis, but mm-hmm. for the extremes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also thought the whole like how you can experience things of other people was kind of cool too. Yeah. Because you know, boring. I mean, went into, like, of course. <laughs> I mean, you can Red do roller. Tube. I, I mean, I've done VR and going on roller coasters is really cool and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I, I think all safeguards in place where you won't die, like if you would in like Sword Art Online and things like that, or like. But there were no safeguards in this one either. Like, uh. Like because people were wearing the Oni headset, like they, you would basically have to hire like a guard to keep your body safe, or you might get raped, or like your organs might get like. Bro, sold. I li- I sleep with my door <laughs> open, my windows are open downstairs. I didn't even know for like two days ago that they were open. Yeah, but you didn't live in the the stacks, man. The stacks, um, the stacks of trailers. You don't yeah. live in a place like that. This is true. I, if you did, yeah, I bet you would, you would have a shotgun next to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I'm down. I think it's a cool idea. Clearly, you have another one. It's not. Uh, I don't. I don't think. Um, it's it's a hard decision to make. It's a hard call, right? Because even with yeah. video games, video games are addicting. So I can see myself easily just like going into this thing and like never going back to because what's the point right it's I mean, like if once you do heroin like that's the highest high you're gonna get and then you're never gonna go back but they right? do so, that in the first in the first book too they talk about how people are addicted to the oasis right yeah mm-hmm. now, now they just cranked it up to like a 1000 right so but that was that was something they did really well i thought when they were talking about the technology mm-hmm. they they described the kind of the positives and the negatives like one yeah it, he he wants to press the red button because he because of all the bad but then it's also people's escape from the bad in real life and then right the other thing they they go into like the positives of uh, being able to actually feel and understand things from other people's perspective yeah, you know, that's definitely a positive. It's like connected yeah. to your brain, right? So, but okay. Yeah, it's like I don't know. I'm in the same boat. I in the end, I probably would be down, but yeah. it's a weird, it's a weird decision. Yeah, I, 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 
yeah I'm, i am not as easy as like max is like yep let's do it i would be like i think at the end of the day it is a good thing because um i think the positives outweigh the negatives because um uh one of the things that they mentioned is like uh, i think uh what's it called hate uh hate speech what's it like hating race racial hate or whatever it's called um so racism down. racism yeah racism. sorry uh, <laughs> the word is escaping me yeah. racism yes that's the word <laughs> it's it's scary man that's that is, you say that word around here and people get in trouble uh anyway <laughs> racism went down because uh, you get to experience who is what's it like to be like somebody else and uh, yeah. so I, I guess yeah so I, I would do it at the end of the day but it's not a, a easy call for me as as it is for maxi but nice nice Okay. Um, that's all I have on that on the Oni headset. It's cool. I mean, I I get your point. Good. We right. understand each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. See ya. Uh, no, no. Okay. So, uh, and another one. Some of the stuff that I read on the internet about like some people were criticizing 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 the book uh, because of Wade. Uh, they were saying that he is not. The same as he used to be, like. Um, oh yeah. But it's a, a but it makes character. sense, right? Yeah. I mean, but, it's like, but but the the other character. Yeah. He's twenty one yeah. years old. Like in the first book, he started when he was like sixteen or something like that. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things happened to this kid, right? Like he started, he became super rich. Uh, yeah, one he, day to the next. He got like a girlfriend. Uh, he got I laid. Got... He got <laughs> broken up. And then he you you heard a lot about him getting laid. Who yeah. those that one week, man? Who he milked that thing and did this whole book? <laughs> or Samantha milked that thing. Oh. No. Oh. No. Uh. Every chapter felt like he was like, oh, that one week we spent together. Look, like, man, all right, yeah, we just, get it. You got it. Look, man, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. So it's lonely in that big ass mansion. <laughs> Apparently yeah. not that because he had the Oni. He talked about that too. I had all kinds of sex with the Oni. <laughs> with no, no, a lot of he had a lot of sex experiences in okay. using. Yeah, it's different, okay. right? Okay. He didn't. He didn't bang the Oni. You know. You don't know that. <laughs> That's strange. That's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. Uh, I don't know. I think it, it makes sense. Like his character had to have changed because he can't be the same as he was before. Yeah. So he he went through some shit, man. Yeah. So. I think the the character itself, the, everybody in that was really well. Like it made sense the way they were, right? Mm-hmm. What I didn't like is just how they were written. I think it was just really sloppily written, in my opinion. It's just yeah. like there was not a lot more to talk about them, right? So the the biggest developments were. Uh, I guess the biggest conflict here was uh, what was what it called? The big the what, what was the name of the group? What they called? High five? High five? High five? Yeah. High five. Uh, they were like the owners of like this whole thing, this company. Uh, and Samantha, uh, she was super against like the the only headset. She didn't even wear it, so uh, she wanted to save the world while yeah the rest of the guys were trying to plan an escape out of this the earth because it was like falling apart. So that was I mean, the big tension between those those two, right? They were still and, and helping the, the world in their own ways. Yeah, in their own ways, but they were also like keeping in like, you know, having a plan B. It's like there's <laughs> this exit out of this <laughs> this place. Yeah. In case things go wrong. So so uh, I, I uh, so that's yeah. And I feel like the like the quest, because they were following the same formula as the first book, they they had the quest element. To find the uh, seven shards of, or the seven sh- siren shards, whatever they. I call have it. so many issues with this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So let's get let's get into this. Do you have issues with the quest? I don't have so much. It's not the quest or what they had to do. I have issues with how long the quest took. Right. Yeah. yeah. So in the first book, it took years. Right. We know it took years before somebody even like got the first key, and then it took at least a couple months between getting each of the other keys. Right. But like in this one, they figured it was like twenty four hours. We we're in, we're out. Like we're ready to go. Like what? Yeah, like, things, come on. things just happened. Yeah, yeah, because like, cause I guess just stumbled through it on the first book or on the on this one. On the oh, second one. This one. Yeah, the second thing, one. Yeah, 
things just happened and we're the, everything was convenient yeah like right the, right the clues were like ah one person saw the clue i know exactly what this means like come yeah, on because yeah because the first one right the first one took forever like three years yeah and then after that it was like just like one after yeah. another, you know two. and it was oh, so so i guess to put to talk about what happened uh, i guess um uh holidays um what is it called like ai went mm-hmm. rogue the anorak ai mm-hmm. went rogue and i guess uh somehow stole the robes from wade uh, or z i guess as his avatar and he said find me the shards or i'm gonna kill everybody he, so he i guess injected a virus onto uh, onto everybody's uh, only headset so mm-hmm. they had a time crunch and they could only do it within 12 hours so yeah you're right like it's Which, unrealistic, right? Yeah. So they should be I getting think, crappier. I actually think that's fine. The time crunch is fine because it's different mm-hmm. than the first book. And I, I'm fine with that. My problem is the seven shards. Why did it have to be seven? He could have picked every nut. It could have been three shards. <laughs> three shards, and it, yeah. the story oh. would have been much better because it was like the same thing over and over again with the seven shards. It was like, Maybe like said, it was You have this too... strength, you have this strength, you have this strength. Everything was convenient. And it was just too much. Yeah, maybe it was because they needed to, because each time he got a shard, um, he got to experience one of Kira's memory. So, and that was the important piece of it. But, and you start piecing together, right? Like, uh oh, because he's talking about like, how did, how did Halliday know that these were her memories? Like, how did he make up these memories? And Mm -hmm. you kind of start start figuring out, like, oh, like these are, like, somehow she got her memories put in here, right? Right, right, right. So maybe that's why, but you're, but yeah, like once they did, like, that's why I started to like zone out, like towards the end where they were like going through the seven shards really quickly. Cause they were just like, okay, this person knows how to get the third one. This person knows how to get the fourth one. And it's like, it's the same formula. And I just yeah. repeat the thing. Yeah. It's just repeated. I mean, um, you could, you could do that. You could build that kind of story over a long period of time, <laughs> or you can, you can have you could, there's a scramble for, for 24 hours. I don't know if you can do both i guess you could but it it didn't yeah the book didn't do that for me yeah and then like they introduced like uh low right low and low five and those characters really didn't do anything for me There's... i wish they would yeah i wish they were more prominent like they, they, yeah. they were talking about the kids that yeah. were like they reminded were like at the high five but they were yeah they're like this they was like us they, back then yeah they didn't they really the respect first them <laughs> they were like oh thanks for kicking this whole thing off and solving the first clue and then yeah also i'll just i'll call you when i need you kid did they ever yeah. show up at the end i i might have missed it did they, they come back yeah they got the sword sword. yeah yeah called them in they're like hey go do this for us okay mm-hmm. yeah i wish i would have gotten a little <clears throat> more air time but the it- beginning was super slow super slow because yeah, they didn't come out of anything it's like yeah it was like legit 30 minutes of him talking about how he had sex with artemis like for a week yeah. i'm not even joking like it was yeah, I mean, long he was explaining the world kind of and i guess you couldn't nah, need the nah, background nah, because nah, he... nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it was legit there was at least a whole chapter dedicated to that i mean it's important man like the kid yeah. you know lost it you know like, he's i'm just saying it's his, lazy right okay. uh, yeah. i don't read that many books so i, I don't care so <laughs> i but, read a uh, whole yeah. chapter in king killer chronicle of the main character banging a fairy, and it was entertaining the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell oh, me man. I'm wrong, Tyler. It was awesome. Oh, okay, snap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Calm down, Tyler. All, Calm down. Right, all right, all right. I'm okay. just saying. Settle there's, down. Yeah, there's ways yeah. to do it, okay? Yeah, I guess. I guess you, you might be onto something there, but uh, I don't, like, okay, so what, what about, I think we're we're uh, dunking in this book too much, so anything that's just, that was well done. Uh, how about the the fight with uh, Ogden Morrow and uh, the AI? Or cool. actually, actually, let's back up. I think the AI, the AI, AI going rogue. I thought that was kind of a cool element. Yeah. Um, yeah. You didn't think it was cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of like the formula of like when the machine becomes alive. It's like no, on all the movies, on all the sci-fi movies, like oh, let's make this thing super smart, and then like it becomes too smart, and now it can do. Now it takes over. It is. <laughs> Again, this goes back to lazy writing, because like they were talking about how oh the NPC always existed in the in the world, and then as soon as they win, they just kind of forgot that the NPC was around. Like they never yeah. thought about hey, well, I wonder what Anorak is doing right now, you know? I mean, they were 
damn it, come on, you said it yourself, man. They were having experiences with other people. Um, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like GSS, right? They're, yeah, okay. There was a whole company around it, right? Right, right. So I guess it could have been keeping an eye on this. Uh, I mean, I'm what's just it saying. called? Uh, yeah, I thought uh, it was cool. I thought that the attitude it was giving. Uh, I thought he, I like his character, but that was just me. I thought it was pretty good. I don't really have any problems with one way. Oh man, like him. Yeah, like I this. guess it. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't like the book. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, you don't like the book. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> It's cool, man. It's cool. I mean, especially if you listen to it over a two-day period. Okay, I can see how it doesn't stay I just very like, well. Eh. I just like, <laughs> there was nothing in, in the book that was like, oh, man, other than the last, not even like somewhere in the last two hours, there was like, whoa, that was cool. But it took a long time to get to that. Like, Yeah, so the Breakfast Club, uh, <laughs> like, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> That era, that part I didn't I didn't care for it because I didn't know any. They were kept saying name Ooh. after name after name, and I was like, no idea who they are, no idea what you're talking about. Cannot picture anything. Can yeah. we just go to the next next chapter? <laughs> that was fine with that. I, I think I got the references in this in this book better than the last one. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I think so. There were less video game references and more like show references, right? Yeah, yeah. shows yeah. and movies, movies, music. Yeah. Music, oh my god, man. They like hamstring music everywhere. No, well, they, they, yeah. they, they did a whole world on Prince, so no, 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 but music. they were like, oh, there was suddenly a needle, like he would, he repeated this drop. statement and, so and many times, drop? yeah, 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 yeah like needle drop. in yeah. every oh, world, oh, yeah, that's right, because there were needle drops in the Prince world and then like the, in the kids' in every world, world, whatever it's called, every world, oh, he every, would say, oh, yes. oh, suddenly we had a needle drop, like, why do you have to say needle drop? So, because many that's times. what it's called, man. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, How are you gonna know as a reader, <laughs> listener? How are you gonna know what's happening? You gotta. <laughs> Telling you, man, it's just lazy. Like they—they they told them, "Hey, you have to get 800 words this page, okay?" <laughs> 800 words this page. <laughs> All right. Well, let's fast track to the the fight. Like, what about the fight with Ogden Moro? Whoa, and, whoa, whoa! Uh, I was bring whoa, up was, that, uh, oh, okay. Which one? Prince World is kind of cool. Oh, Prince World is oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> I don't I know honestly, why. I said. Honestly, don't know. I don't know Prince. Oh my god! I know. I know he oh. exists as a person. I've never. I, I might have. Listen to his music, maybe by accident. So by accident. But I thought the fight. If you didn't listen how to the him, fight, you was, probably listen to something he wrote. Yeah, yeah. I think that the fight, lot. the fight was pretty good. The how they collected the troops and got the the yeah. gear and got the stuff. I thought that was cool. That was probably the best written world, as far as detail and and even the plot, really. Yeah, because uh, the one after that was the one with uh, Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit stuff. That didn't yeah. understand any of it. Like, I don't even know what's happening. Don't worry about it. That's just Lord of the Rings, bro. <laughs> That's like, why Lord of the Rings is boring as fuck. I was like, I don't even know what's <laughs> happening. But apparently, Samantha's a whiz. She knows everything. So they just call her up, teleport in there, and she figured it out. I don't literally take... felt like I was watching the Lord of the Rings because I was like, oh, fuck, this is so boring. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry, the movie's saying. not bad. The movie's good. I like the movie. No, no, the movie is good. Yes, because you're seeing cool stuff happening. Oh, okay. Lord <laughs> of the Rings is boring. Okay. Oh, like reading it. Yeah, man. Okay. It's like reading yeah, Game I... of Thrones. Game of Thrones is boring too. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. I'm not. I'm not that kind of person. He's like, I said uh, it. I said <laughs> it. I don't. I don't... <laughs> it's, it's, me, it's like, look, man. Look, that book is is. is is uh th- hefty so i believe you a lot of words to say stuff <clears throat> but yeah and then i don't i don't even i think i skipped the last world i don't even remember i don't know what the last one was the um, last world it wasn't really a last world it, well the, the last it's... world was like i showed up to this planet there's a yeah. shrine bop, bop, yeah. bop, go infinity gauntlet on this statue yeah and i get a crystal Woo! okay like, okay that yeah that's what i thought okay yeah okay cool so that was a little bit lazy, but it's fine. Uh, the stuff oh, that, that was lazy. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying that the other parts weren't. I'm just saying, like, that to me, as like not not, not an experienced reader or like, like book connoisseur, like, the math or the educational world. They started something cool where you started getting into like, oh, like okay, I understand why Wade's Wade, and then there's like 15 minutes later, well, we're off to some other planet now. Well, yeah, because. 
that that's all I had to do there, man. Uh, the flashbacks were cool. Like each time he got up, I think yeah. those were necessary. Uh, yeah. But the world stuff, like the going through the the missions, less necessary. Uh, I didn't think that the riddles were like like Tyler was saying. The riddles were too easy or too convenient. Mm-hmm. I guess it's like three of them were just symbols, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like some guy like Shoto knew the the Japanese stuff right away. Yeah. And yeah, so two of them were just symbols. One was like a sigil for the queen and the other one was literally prince's symbol. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a P, I'm assuming. I don't know. No, I don't know what prince is. I don't know what You've never it is. seen it? Oh no. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so look, you, man, you, you, look. you missed a lot because if you don't know the symbol, it's uh, actually a really you've seen the symbol, I promise you. I probably have. Okay, yeah. I have seen this. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. The uh, artist no, <laughs> formerly known as Prince. His name okay. is that symbol. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> Legally his name was that symbol, yeah. Really? That's that's interesting. I don't know. I guess so. Dad talked about the world, so I want to talk about the fight because okay. I wish I wish it would have. It was described cool, but it didn't last that long. Hey, Amen. I wanted like a Dragon Ball Z kind of like twenty yeah. arc. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. Basically, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I wish they, I wish it was more like a the original. The first book was like a like a war, right? Like yeah. Everybody teamed up and defeated the enemy. And in this one, it was just like they tried one by one, and then Ogden Moro came, and then they gave him the sword and cut him. Yeah, and then that was, that was it. it. I mean, it and is the was it just, was just looking from his <laughs> from the tower. Yeah, he was recording it, man. He was a cameraman. Uh, he was uh, the POV, whatever it's called. I just, I wish he he would have had to leave the room to risk that because like him leaving the room was a huge risk, and then I wish they had to fight him together. You know what I mean? I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I wish he would have just pressed the button. <laughs> that that was the other idea I had. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, I don't know. It would have killed a bunch of people, right? Look, I so, get it. I yeah. get it. I get that. <laughs> I get it. I'm just like, <sighs> like that's uh, that's a tall order, man. He made so many references to the red, big red button, right? And then they would be like. He would have these dreams about pressing the red button, right? And then they didn't do anything with the red button. Like, oh, okay, because it's not because like, you're killing a bunch of people. It's like yeah. he was doing the same thing I do with my kids. Like, I'm gonna take it away. <laughs> I'm gonna take it away. I mean, it works, man. Like, you wait to the last moment, and like, oh, no, 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 and they'll, they'll do it. So they just waited I, until the last minute, and then like, Og showed up. I feel there was no real lessons learned from this. That's my. What problem. are you talking about? Don't wear an Oni headset. That was right. the, that was the lesson. Right, and then the, the rest really of the world needs, continues to use the them. Continues to use them, and goes a little fucking crazy. Mm, okay. Well, anyway, and, I think we we've beaten that. I think we should get into the the ending. Uh, the gift of immortality. Uh, so, so you should explain what happens at the end. Oh man. Okay. So the only headset is scanning everybody's brain every single time they log in to make uh, to be able to like. I guess make a replica out of them, and that is how. Uh, once they collect the seven shards, they're able to, uh, I guess, revive uh, Kira's. Um, what's it, uh, what's it called? Avatar, and mm-hmm. it's a copy of her at the time that she wore the headset. So consciousness. consciousness, yeah. So now they're talking about two things like cloning the consciousness mm-hmm. and giving you immortality and the way of living as an avatar for the rest. Uh, indefinitely right Mm -hmm. so that was the gift if you collect the seven shards you get this like staff of revival whatever the hell is called and you can now parzival has now the ability to clone anybody he wants yeah create people so uh, this for me is where it jumped like this was it's just like went into like a whole world of like i had problems with the oni headset like with the morality of it and this is where it's like okay this is like totally messed up it just came out of nowhere <laughs> to it's me just it like just a... came out of nowhere it was just like oh but like i know they were building up to this because this is what the whole thing was happening right but it was just kind of like oh by the way now you can create life 
Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. It felt like the, the lesson should have been you, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't right. with magic. Like, but, like... but then they did do that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, that's why I was like, I thought he was going to press the button, right? Because it, like, we, we've taken the Oasis to a place that we shouldn't take it. Is and my... then they took it further. <laughs> yeah, and then they went further, right? <laughs> and I was like, you know what, guess How about this? How will we give you the ability to not just, like, imagine how messed up people would be. Like, dealing with death is hard. Mm-hmm. And now, now you can revive people that have died by just, like, a flick of a yeah. wand. Right. But it's not them either. <laughs> so right. It's, but, so it, but it it's is. It's like a new them. Uh, right. So this is the problem I've had with this, right? Because I, I, I think the idea was cool, and I think if they would have, he would have fleshed it out a little bit better, it would have been a, a cooler way of handling death in the future, right? But the fact that he had Wade, and then he had um, <laughs> Parsifal's pseudo, the other one, and then they, at the end he's talking about how, like, now we're both living... But we're not really the same person anymore. Oh yeah, he makes a copy yeah. of himself, right? right? And then they both go because at the at the point of where he makes the at that that checkpoint, yeah. that is the copy that lives. And then because it's a person, essentially, yeah, it it, it could live a different path. Well, it is living yeah, that, a different path, and he's right, that's right. what he's saying. Which was pretty cool. That part was pretty interesting. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it was interesting, right? Because it, it, it's cool as an idea. It's not necessary to the story, but I, I thought. And that was pretty neat. I don't know. No, but I think it kill, it takes away from the whole like, oh, you don't have to worry about death anymore. But the way you presented him to me is like, this isn't the person I knew. This is a brand new person who just happens to know everything about me, right? Right. It only works if they if, if they, they would died, right? Well, not even if they just they actually respond. died. Like if they when you die, you like respawn in the uh, oasis. Yeah. I don't know. Right. It's just like. It's just, I have a hard time with this because it's just like you're playing God and it's like I, I'm like I'm not a religious person but it's just like things have to end and yeah. this seems like it's not ending so I, I don't know like I said my issue is just like they presented it in a weird way that I'm not down with have they just been like when you die you can download your, your brain you be, your literal consciousness goes there okay fine but this is a copy of your consciousness, not really you. Yeah, but, right. but it's no, but it is you. Like, it's what is a copy you. of you? It's the same thing. Like, it's not you because that's the whole point when they explained at the end where there's like there's the Wade or Earth Wade, and then there's the Arcadia Wade, and we're both doing different things, so we're but not the, re- the same. The, but we're not the same or- person. I mean, it's not because there's two of them alive. But if only mm. one of them was alive, it would be a continuation of the same person. Right. Because it's just a consciousness. It's like the body is just a sack of bones and flesh, right? But what's I feel you know. like you have need to have some terms of service there. They even <laughs> touch it. They even touch it at the end where they're like, there was some morality whether or not we should just have all these copies of people and start them up, but we don't know. Like it's going to be hard to get their consent, right? At the end, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying, right? Like it's it's it is and it isn't the same person. Yeah, so I guess if they could, that's what I was saying. Like, if if you like, it could only happen if you die. Like, once you die, you mm-hmm. say, like, I want to be revived on the oasis. So you die and then you come out on the oasis, and that's right. it, right? You that's the, the same, you, that's the same person, basically, right? You and press no, the there's no, only, and your brain just goes pop, and then you're, what happens to the body? It goes pop, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's true. So I guess if there's only one, one consciousness either digital or physical yeah. that'd be okay but when there's yeah. two it gets a little weird uh, there's a lot of morality cause they, issues. They, yeah because they talk to each other like wade has kids and he never wears, wears the uh the what's it called only hits it anymore uh but the other one is living in the thing like in a space in a spaceship flying to find the next colony to inhabit and i don't know with, I'd be like, with hey dude go fuck yourself and then like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Like the the ending was troubling. I guess it's it's a good ending because it's like I like, like controversial or like it's just like it didn't add anything. It didn't add to this world really. It just made it so ridiculous that they can't make a third book, man. This is just this yeah. is good. <laughs> it was kind of cool that the the fake Parzable was the one telling the story. I thought it was pretty. Is he fake? Yeah, that, that was, is he yeah. fake? 
or <laughs> copy, whatever. You call it. Yeah, the the clone, the clone consciousness. Yeah. The yeah, it is. It what, what was weird is that Og knew all the Og knew that they could do this all along, right? He did. Yeah, he knew for like <laughs> years. This guy knew for years, and he didn't do anything about it. I thought that was weird. But no, nah, because that was fine. To me, he's leaning on their morality, right? To him, it wasn't morally correct to do this. But he he was fine with being alive. Like, right. why why can why he say like, hey Joe, unplug me? I don't like this. <laughs> What do you mean? Easy to say. (laughs) What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like they brought him back to life. Yeah, because he said to bring him back to life. What do you mean? He said bring. Okay. Oh, at the end of the day, he changed his mind. Yeah, he told uh, Artemis, "Is like, hey, I was wrong about everything. Go resurrect Kira. If she says this is okay, bring me back." Oh, okay, okay. I might have missed that. Whatever. I was so You're welcome. Like, this is why I binge it 24 hours before. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I, I knew that part is fresh. From, fresh. Yes, that's. I mean, okay, whatever. I, I, it, it's just this guy had like years to figure this out, and then like, and his deathbed, he just figured it out. He's like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how about how about we? Don't, so he was he was alive nah. using the only headset, and he died wearing it. So when he came back, it was like, like nothing happened. Yeah, I like, think, I, no, no, it just, it just circle back. I think we, we harp on the negative points because they're easier to do. But I think over, I, like I was said at the beginning, I did like this book. Um, it's just the morality things that really are hard for me to like get past. And those are the one, the only headset and two of the immortality mm-hmm. thing. And the rest of the stuff I could, I could freak you. Yeah. It's fine. I, uh, I can't get past the bad writing. The, <laughs> the bad writing, I bad think it's writing. very lazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but I I think the spirit of the book was there. I I really do think yeah. they, they try to make it very similar to the first one. Because it I worked, think was, It worked the first time, yeah. I think that was just a detriment, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and like, but there were some cool parts to it. Like, I thought the Prince World was cool. I thought the whole, like, rewriting the ending of... Pretty in Pink was cool, right? Like these things mm. were cool, but yeah, it's just it wasn't as interesting, right? That's why I enjoyed it. I felt like it picked right off, right where, right picked off right where the last book left off, and then it had the same spirit. Like I said, it just felt yeah. like, yeah, it felt like it, he wrote it, and then here, here's what I think. I I understand why Patrick Rothfuss is afraid to release his third book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Wait, because, book? <laughs> because sometimes authors release books before they're ready. And this was that oh, he should have taken more time and developed the story. Uh, I just don't think there was a place to go with this. Like, yeah, that's the thing. It was kind of forced, right? Because it was like yeah. the same formula as the beginning. And maybe, yeah, because I think you already, the, the first one was a, a novel idea. Yeah. So once he does it again, it's like less novel because you kind of expect that. So honestly, what I really, really liked about this was how they were figuring out that Halliday wasn't like the greatest person in the world, right? And yeah. like to me, that was really cool how they're exploring like Halliday, how they're exploring Ogden, how they're exploring Kira, and that how that mirrors their lives, right? Because he talks at the beginning how he doesn't get to hang out with his friends anymore. They're all like separating, right? And they're fairly young. I mean, they're 21 or something, right? Like, they're yeah. not that old where you, like their whole lives are going away, right? Right. So like, I thought it was a very interesting exploration of that, of how the real lives mirror a lot of people's lives and how you like meeting your actually knowing your heroes is sometimes not the best thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think, man, I guess once you say that, I guess this book was necessary to explain the backstory of the origin characters like the yeah. Kira Og, and uh, Holiday. So, cause they had like their own like skeletons in the closets or however you want to call them. Right. Um, so, so I, uh, the way I would have improved this book in my head is like, if this was, would have been like a story where he's going around with low and kind of like figuring out that he gained his humanity with low, like, okay, there's people in this world that are worth saving. Right. Cause he's kind of throwing the world away. Right. At the beginning of the book, he's like, screw yeah. Earth, it's dead. But him hanging out with Lo and being like, okay, you know, there's people that were just like me who need help. I didn't yeah. need this 
resurrection and all this other crap. I didn't need like we have twelve hours to figure this out. Or everybody dies, right? Like, yeah, but that just ha- that just l- happened to him. It wasn't like uh, he no, wanted to do it. No, I know. Well, the writer wanted to do that. I'm saying. Oh, the writer. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. To me, to, yeah. if they would have just made the story like he's learning about Halliday and the bad things that Halliday did, I and see. learning those things. And hanging out with this other person that gives them a different perspective. Or- ah, the book wouldn't have sold, man. There's not, no, not enough action. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what I'm, no, because you could not enough memes or references on that story. No, no, you could have still done the seven shards, right? You still uh, could have done it. And okay. you could have just been like, I lost the sight of what it meant to get out of the stacks, right? Yeah, because you kind of became a head for a right. while. So. You became Halliday, basically. <laughs> where he's yeah. all like, screw everybody else. I only care about myself. And then okay. he's figuring out, wow, Halliday was a terrible person. And then he became a better person. He had hey. a kid, and now he's like reformed. I'm so All saying. right. All right. Well, I don't know. I think we've beaten this book. Uh, I think. I think still, still a good book. Uh, listen to it, narrated by Will Wheaton. Can't yeah. can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Max is I mean, not if impressed. You, if you read the first one, you might as well read this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Might as well just close yeah, it up I mean, and then. Yeah. Don't think do about it. it too hard, and you'll enjoy. Yeah. It. <laughs> uh, I don't think about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's anyway. fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. Do you guys have anything else you want to add, or are we gonna call it here? I mean, I'm good. Cool. All right. Well, with that, we're out. Peace. See ya. Later. Thank you for listening. If you like this podcast, please give us a star, heart, or leave us a review. You can follow us on Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube at Pubstomp Podcast. That's P-U-B-S-T-O-M-P-O-D-Cast. For more episodes, go to anchor.fm slash Pubstomp. Music provided by 99Lives. Credits are in the episode description.